Dustin from Looney Loom Works here, and welcome to part one on how to spin. Today, I'm going to show you how to attach a lead to your bobbin and get ready to begin spinning. Let's get started, shall we? To create your lead, you're going to need roughly about 24 inches of any string or filament that will hold up against the spinning. I'm using simple 8x4 carpet warp that I use for my weaving. I then like to take one end of it and create a loop. Just fold it down on top of itself to create a little bit of a loop there. I then just do a simple overhand knot, pull it through to create just a little loop and tighten it down. So now that we have this little loop that's nice and secure, it's not a slip newt loop, it's nice and tight. I trim off this excess because you don't want that getting tangled. So we're going to just go ahead and trim that off. And then we take our bobbin. This is a bobbin for an Ashford Kiwi 2. I then go ahead and go underneath of it with one side. I take the other end and put it right on through that loop. Just slide it on through. I take that end we put through and then just tighten it down. Just go ahead and pull all of that excess through until it tightens down onto our bobbin. We are now ready to go to the spinning wheel and attach this to our spinning wheel. Now that we have our bobbin on our spinning wheel, what we are going to do is take our lead and slide it through our first hook on our flyer. There are many different flyers depending on what kind of spinning wheel you have, but they all serve the same purpose. So you slide it through your first hook, and then you slide it through your second hook, which kind of helps keep it away from the bobbin here. And go ahead and pull that just slightly taut. It doesn't need to be super taut at all. Now, we need to go through our orifice. Most spinning wheels come with a handy little hook that can slide in through the opening of your flyer orifice and then come out the hole. You're just going to want to hook your lead through that and pull it on through your orifice so it comes out the other end. Now that you have it through your orifice, go ahead and rotate down or around with your flyer just to help wrap up those, the excess of the lead that way your loop on the bobbin doesn't come loose. Just go ahead and give it a little bit of a tug, and if it doesn't unwind, you're good to go. Now it's time to attach the wool to your lead. How to attach your wool to the lead is really pretty simple. What I like to do is go ahead and create just a simple overhand knot to create a hole for my wool. Just like so. I then Take the end of the wool that I'm going to be spinning with, and go ahead and slide it on through. And then I'll just kind of wrap it around once, just one time around, over and again. That way it helps secure it. And then I just tighten down my lead, like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. And just like that, you are ready to begin spinning. Let's give it a try. And just like that, you have attached a lead to your bobbin and you're ready to start spinning. Be sure to check out part two of our series and I will show you how to go ahead and start feeding the wool into your spinning wheel to start making some beautiful yarn. I hope this was as enlightening and as fun for you as it was for me. And as always, folks, stay loony and I love you.